right, Virgo. So the person on your mind. Okay, so you have talking. So it's like you were talking, you were getting to know someone and then it stopped. You have talking and then it has coughing. So you were talking to someone, you were getting to know someone and then all of a sudden it stopped. Yeah, heartbroken. So someone ghosted you. Yeah, they ghosted you. Or you ghosted this person. Something else too, uh, Virgo. You may have you you may have been wondering why this person has all of a sudden um stopped speaking to you. It's because okay, I don't really I don't really want to say that, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Maybe um someone that they know or someone that they were close to has passed away. Or unfortunately, maybe this person passed away and you didn't know about it. Okay, it's like all of a sudden they stop talking, they stop responding, but I feel like this is more of a breakup. Okay, <clears throat> for some of you, you could have been just now getting to know this person. Like dating. Okay. What is talking? Seduction. So the reason why they ghosted you, or if you're wondering why a Virgo has ghosted you, this has something to do with teasing um, maybe this person getting bored all of a sudden. I'm not saying you're a boring person, but I don't know. Maybe this person, they get, they get bored easily or once the excitement is gone, once the chase is over or once the passion goes away, they move on. But I feel like you were just talking to this person, getting to know them, or maybe you were already dealing with this person and it's over. They ghosted you. Yeah, shock. So this was someone's twin. This was their this was their twin flame. They were also a snake. Yeah, and it was shocking because, you know, this person, maybe they promised that you two would always be together. Um, They made you promises to never leave, to never, I guess, walk away. But you have someone new. Someone new is coming in. And I feel like this new person, they're going to love you unconditionally. Okay. You're going to end up married to this person or in a committed relationship. But this person could end up having some kind of addiction that you need to know about. Yeah, they're trying to hide it. So just be aware that this new person that's coming into your life, they have some kind of addiction. It also says codependent obsessive, possessive, controlling. 
Yeah, they're trying to hide that they can be possessive. And then you may decide to move on from this person. So it's like once you once you end a relationship or once a connection is over, you're moving on. And then this new person that's coming into your life, it's like you're going to end up married to this person or they're going to propose to you. But this is something that's hidden. Or maybe you're walking away from this person. They're trying to hide an addiction. But they're growing from it. They're healing from some kind of addiction. Okay. Yeah, so they're addicted to partying. Being out all night. But you're old school. You don't believe in that. You have love here. I feel like you're just going to start focusing on yourself. Yeah, you're going to start focusing on yourself. Okay. And cutting things or people out. That's not doing anything for you. All right, what else is here for this person? You have key on a ring and then you have death. So this person had many options or someone had many options. That's getting ready to end. Because they're going to marry you or they decided that you're the one they want to spend the rest of their life with. What is death? You have not enough. Someone had a history or like something in the past. They used to, I guess, like date a lot or not necessarily date. But maybe this person, they used to have many one night stands. But they're done with that. They're done with that kind of life. And now they're ready to settle down. I feel like they're ready to settle down with you. But I feel like once you find this out, once you find out this information, you're going to move on. Because if someone has a history of cheating, if they have a history of doing something like that, it's very likely like, in the future, it could happen again. So you're deciding that you're not going to take any chances. You're just going to continue loving yourself. Yeah, putting yourself first. Because this is a karmic relationship. So someone is going from a twin flame connection to a karmic relationship. Yeah, and then someone is going to realize that it's better just to be alone or it's just better, you know, just to love themselves right now. But that's not to say that, you know, a, a good person will come, won't come come along. They will. But you have to know the signs. You have to know the red flags. Or just make sure you're not the karmic. Because that is a possibility, Virgo. That you could be the karmic. All right, so that's all for this message, Virgo.